So this is what kind of fig tree it's again? It's called a Desert King. Desert King fig. Sometimes if you can, you know, I try to get, you know, if you can uproot these, you can actually get some root on them. Yeah. See, see, see that? Oh wow! See the, yeah. these are perfect because you already got root happening. So you just stick it in. Stick now. that in the ground, man. You're good. So you go. Thanks. Here's another one. So with a fig tree, pretty much everything's always going up. Yeah, and they're very, very vigorous. That, you know, you gotta do tons of pruning every year. So how do you decide what to prune? Well, you're gonna see here. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's better to break them off if you can. Well, you know, I, 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 I usually, I, 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 I wish I had my shovel because I would dig these out. In fact, I'll get some really good roots for you. Would, would you mind? Out? My shed over there, is a wooden shed. If you go... The other side of the white. Shed behind, oh, the house. If you go behind it, you'll see two shovels laying on the ground. Bring the narrow one. Okay. It's a little four inch. And we'll get some really nice roots here. There we go. <laughs> Minimum. You're going to be busy, bro. Well, I want to have a lot of it. Woods. Woods for privacy and stuff like that. Hunting and Hunting. everything, yeah. Firewood and yep. yeah. Trees are trees are just an really awesome resource. <laughs> mm. I wonder if you can grow sequoias there. I don't know. You know, they're, they're the fastest growing wood producer. Really that was if I have to if the property that I'm end up buying doesn't already have trees on it, then that's one of the, that and I think alders is the other one that grows fast. And one thing about alders is so cool in a wood lot, is you, when you cut them down to the ground, they come back, it's multiples. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And you will have it for the rest of your life, yeah, the same planting. It's just, you know, they're, they're very, and they grow quick. And another thing nice about alders is they're nitrogen fixing. Ever notice in nature when, when, when people clear cut, what's the first thing that happens? In the woods, alders. Grow alders. Back. alders? Yeah. There's a reason for that because they're putting nitrogen in the soil to build the soil for the next generation of conifers. Okay. And when the conifers get big, all the alders die off, but they built the soil, created all this nitrogen. Hmm. The design in nature is so perfect. It when is. You start tracking and Amazing. paying attention. It's just like whoa. There's a reason for it. All. Is there? Yeah, and it's design, genius design. When you look at the order. Of this universe, and this is so interesting. You know, as they're, as they're putting these um, satellites out there and putting cameras on them, yeah. the universe keeps getting bigger and more orderly. I love it, <laughs> and it's just making this stupid, you know, idea of it all just happening as an accident. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on, man! Like, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> this is not even approaching intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You can see figs, figs are very soft wood, like in, compared to the um, compared to um, the apples. And they grow quick. Uh, this is just a stick a stick put here three years ago. Really? One stick like this. Three really? Years, yeah. Wow. Well, you want sun. Yeah. You know, they're, 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 they're a warm, they're a warm weather um, plant. You know, so they want to get as much sun as you can. Right. For them. But I'll tell you where I'm, where I'm having the best results is up against my fir trees there, because in the winter if it gets really cold, yeah. these will die back. They'll, fr they'll, they'll freeze off. And what's happening over there is the fir trees act as a, act as a, as a major blanket mm -hmm. and it keeps it warmer. Okay. They're, they're doing so good along my fir trees. So I, I took a big old willow out this year. I'm going to plant more there because it's such a great space for them. Because you see, that, see this is south facing and that, that north back protects major right. major right. protection from the bees. So this, one, this one here, if it gets really cold, will have a lot of dieback. So this is a plastic plant. And now it's 
three years uh -huh. later. Man. Cool. You know, again, <laughs> again, look where, you know, it's also, you know, what it's growing in. This is not just, yeah, yeah, not you're a, right. a car compact, it's, it's right. got a, a, you a good some, environment. Yeah. But again, it does grow fast. Yeah. So you got good roots there. You know. mm -hmm. these, these are the ones you guys want to take home. The plant. Because you've got a root system already started. Yeah, little roots on it. Yeah, I don't think any of these are going to make it into your truck, Paul. <laughs> well, this would be a lot of fun. Take well. them all. <laughs> yeah, and even like this one that you have here, you cut it every six inches. Oh, really? And then plant all those. And you'll get boom, 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 boom. Just push them down into the ground. Stick them in the ground. Just and every, um, every, like... Every spot there's like a little yeah. nub or something like that will be another root that right. shits out. <laughs> Looking here, you can see that's where the fruit came from last year. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Those nubbins. Wow. Look, those are killer. You know, that old lady in the film, you know, um, she, she plants hedges of these all along her fence line. She just sits, has major hedges. It's just awesome the number of fish she grows on Now, are you um, breaking them off down yeah, there, or do they just have... Busting, busting them off, you see, because they were laying in the, a little bit of compost here, they've already rooted them. See, see here, see, that, see, that's just the main stem. So right. Just breaking it off the main stem. Now, will more grow back from oh, there, heck yeah. from that so, spot? It's just, like I say, it's just, you know, it's a challenge to try to control these things, you know? Hmm. <laughs> like a lilac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lilac is a great example, yeah. I got one I got to take down this year. Yeah. It's my wife's favorite plant. She said, take it down. It's that, in the way of the garden. Not too big. <laughs> I go, really? Yeah. This is the blue person. She said, I'll take it down. There you go. Yeah, we had, one time we had 15 lilacs on the property. Good. We had one that just got a little story to it. Yeah. We bought it, we lived in Kirkland, and we climbed and we bought it there. I went back and we got it. We didn't even need so you're just taking out like the new growth? Yeah, see, these, these are all suckers that are they're, they're never going to be too crowded. I got to get rid of anyway. So this, you know, so this is this is where you start, like in a pruning situation, is you get rid of the obvious stuff. So that's see, once you get rid of the obvious, then it's going to make more sense where to prune the tree. Mm -hmm. so if I leave this in, in it's going to be just in that way, and it's kind of a a cluttered mess. Ten feet? No, ten feet's too close. Okay. 15? I have 15 on minimum. Okay. And that's just basically all trees. All now, trees? now standard trees like a cherry, 25 foot minimum. Oh, okay. See this little cherry tree right there? No. You know why it's little? So I planted one um, 15 years ago. It got too big. I had to cut down. Oh wow! So a big okay. pile, of, a big pile of cherry wood over there. It was a, a, a stump over there. Oh, wow. In, in, in over here, Too close, okay. I, it was a 17 year old tree, just like my neighbor's, 35. It was 40 feet tall. I couldn't, I, cut, I, I, I had a big fire out of it because it got too big. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, what a problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I had to make firewood out of it. Oh. 
I just, just got plan a new one and start over. Cherries anymore. It's 40 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna plant a small one I can reach, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna have to wait long. <laughs> Wow, that space opened up. I mean, just yeah, this, cleared this, out. You can, you, can just, you can see why you, this is the kind of thing you do first when you're pruning. Because I think it's all cut, you'll be able to see, you know, where everything else is and get perspective, you know. Or if you, if you don't get into the inside and clean it out, you just have this unreal cluttered mess, you know, and, and, and any of the stuff that I'm cutting out, you wouldn't want to have left. It's not like you want to leave you know, the stuff. Good. Yeah. Start doing fig orchard, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm planning on doing. A lot of fish, yeah. I plan on a couple. I want to plant some other stuff in my yard too. Yeah. Well, you know what's so nice about figs as far as uh, fruit trees are concerned? They're, they're really beautiful, the, a big broad leaf. Uh -huh. No insect touches them. Yeah. And you know what's so awesome about them in the, in the spring? The first thing that shows up on the stem of the figs, before any leaves, the figs are there. It's like so encouraging, like, wow, yeah. man, there's fruit already. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. They're really a, a, a cool tree to have. So this is a new one for people. A four-inch shovel is a great pruning tool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll add it to the list. <laughs> hey, I go for the smallest shovel possible. Because you're moving less dirt. <laughs> it may take yeah. you longer. These are, these are so convenient because you, you, know, you have to move stuff. You're not moving a lot of dirt. Nice. You know, you can get right down quick. Yeah, I learned the biggest not always better. You know, and again, the whole idea of the word precision, you know. <laughs> that's, that's, that's small and effective. There's some nice rooms here. There you go. I want to see pictures of your fig orchard. Yeah, I'm taking some of these over to a subscriber that lives northern Oregon by Walla Walla. And I'm going to take some and plant them where we're living now. And then when it comes time to move, I will take those and take some to the new place. Uh, See here, this major crossover right there. Right. So that's, that's obviously that those those are the kind of things. That, this is where you start when you do pruning. This is clearly an issue, you know. So um, I'm obviously I'll take the, the bottom one out, you know, once at the lowest. But they, they can't live like this. You know, too much density. So do you usually take off most of the lower ones too, well, or again, just light, anything that's light, crossing? You know, light stuff has to have light, and so the stuff lower isn't going to get it. I think I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will. <laughs> Now, will new branches grow from any of this down here? All, all over the place. See, all that stuff we just took out was one year's growth. It all happened last year. Now, here's, here's, here's something about pruning. Take these centers out, or just watch this. One cut. Watch how this opens up. See, just take that center out. You know? See, everything's now just totally there. Or if you're out here nipping, you know, if I take it this side, it would be crowded this way. Yeah. So taking centers out are just so key. That's good. And it's hard for your brain because you, that's in the middle. That's the, the you know the most yep. cent, the, the biggest part, but it's in the wrong place. Yep. <laughs> now see, so here's another one that's you know it's, it's too low to the ground. There's too much stuff above it. 
to shade it so it's yep. going to come out. When new branches grow on this, will it grow from where you just cut or will it they can. start like just somewhere randomly like here or something? They can and they can and do and they also do they do answers both yes. both answers around. <laughs> Again with these it's not trying to get stuff to grow, it's trying to stop stuff. <laughs> Give me a break here. <laughs> Here's something that this is this is this is um one of these kind of kind of challenges you have to have to deal with. But um, see, I'm looking at these are too close. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm looking at this being the bigger you want to keep it because it's way out there and this is more at the level I want to be picking from. I'm gonna take the big one out. Yeah. Because you see this is, this is this is you'll see it, you know again this, these are the kind of things you have to somehow sit back and just you know evaluate and um because not everything's just you know. Obvious. <laughs> yeah, you can start anticipating, you know, my next cuts. Uh -huh. you see, like, yeah. You know, that's Which good. is why I wanted to do is to yeah. actually, you know, see yeah, that's, what that's, that's the best way to learn, you know, just, you know, just be there and watch it being done and say, okay, where's it going? What's next? Here? Yep. Yep. Cool, cool. I want to do that one. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> we're done. Nice. Like that. Next and year, you see how that be... just all changed. You know? Yeah. You can you see the process. Totally. See, if I've been out here trying to do this yep. before I did that, it'd be much more confusing. When True. you get all that trash out of your way, then everything else becomes more clear. This is you know, like we have the the branch, chop, chop, chop into six inches or so. Put it into the I ground. Do, I, I would bury those whole. Things. Well, these ones with the roots, yeah. Yeah. That's when? Gonna be a tree. Right when? now. Right, right now, today. Now. Yeah, you don't want to leave them dry out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you know, each you see each each of those little joints. Yeah. That's, that's the root there. Right, right. So okay. The more you have in the ground, the more roots you're going to develop. Burn as soon as you can. Yeah. Okay. And, and um, you're going to have those 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 in three years. Remember this: in three years, you will have fruit. Three that's years. how that's how they're amazing. They're just really incredible stuff. Cool, man. Thanks. You can just grab that front side. You're going to grab the back here.